Alright guys, here's the build review for the Wingmaster, available from BananaHobby.com. This is the ARF, or almost ready to fly version. I got everything removed from the box, taken out of the package, except for the small little screws. And here is everything that you get with the ARF version. We got the main wing back here. We got the vertical stabilizer. There is the rear wing. Right here we got two carbon fiber tubes which will be going through the main wings. We got the, the three landing gears. The Y harness for the LED lights. We got the nose cone. The propeller. Main fuselage. The other main wing. And then a large assortment of screws, servo horns, and other items. Plus the three very large, they're quite large tires. Okay guys, with everything, read through the owner's manual, see how this thing's assembled, get familiar with it uh, before you start any sort of assembly on this plane. Do take your time, don't rush things, make sure things fit, and just fully understand. This owner's manual is a full, complete build, like if you got this plane entirely in pieces. Like you can see here, it's telling you to glue the fuselage together, mount the motor mount up, and the, ba and the motor and everything like that. Steps like this, however, all of it's already assembled on there, it's already pre-built. So, some of this kit, you are, this assembly book here, you are going to have to just kind of skim through some things. Some stuff you are going to ignore, other stuff you are going to have to do. So just please read through it very carefully and get a full understanding before you do assemble it. Okay, I'm going to start with putting the front landing gear on. The landing gear has to go through this hole in the front right here. There's two, there's, there's two different style landing gears. Two of them are going to be the same, one's going to be different. The different one goes in the front. Now when it goes through that hole after you've taken the cowl off the front to get access here, you're going to see we got those two pieces right there. This is actually your steering arm that goes back to the servo. Another side of it is the locking, the locking bolt for it. It is, this part is actually installed improperly. It needs to come back out, not a big deal. <clears throat> What you see is this rod right here is actually for the steering which goes back to right here. All you got to do is take off this little Phillips nut there, just loosen it, don't need to take it out, and then slide this whole piece out and it comes out very easily. For the landing gears you're going to need this bag of locking collars, it does have an Allen, an Allen wrench in there too. You also see those little black things, those are the, the locking nuts there. We actually have to thread those inside of the threads on the locking collars. Do take careful, these things are very easily dropped. Make sure you're on a nice clean surface where you can easily find them. What you're going to need to do is your front landing gear, which is right here. You're going to need to slide one on to this first and then take and put this into the fuselage. This is this end right here is the end that needs to go through the fuselage. If you see that little flat spot there, that's actually where that, that lockdown nut needs to go. It needs to center onto that. So make sure that you get that centered on. You can tell by when you push it in and you're you're tightening down that nut, you kind of feel it starting to tighten up and this thing doesn't want to twist and turn anymore. You can also pull it up and down, you'll notice that it wants to stay in that one spot. Alright, I got the front landing gear finally installed now. As you can see, I got that lock, that locking collar there with the screw installed. And then there's all the guts inside of there. And you can, you can see how that is installed. I got that locking nut facing forwards. Kind of get you an angle. You can see that that's actually going to be sticking forwards a little bit. So the tire's going straight forwards. It's lining straight up. Uh, parallel with the fuselage front to back but that's actually kind of it's sticking forwards about a 45 degree angle so if that helps you get that in there it was a bit of a trick trying to get that locking nut to line up with that flat surface on the shaft so okay last thing to point out about the front landing gear here I did put the cowl back on because I don't think we're going to need to go under in the front anymore um, the, the, the linkage for the front, the front gear is this. When I'm pushing on it, it's actually turning this. 
this is actually this plastic tube is actually not secured to the fuselage at all so like when I turn the landing gear you can actually see that it's it's bending that that tube there so um, what I'm going to do so I'm gonna get my hot glue gun fired up you know hot glue um, but it does actually work really well for foam and stuff like that I'm gonna go ahead and I did check to see how this would work by holding this in place I'm gonna go ahead and just push this off of the side like that and put some hot glue over it to hold it in place here's the rear landing gears on the plane this end right here this is the end that the tires go on this end right here this is the end that goes into the fuselage itself now to show you what I'm going to do is show you how it goes in essentially it goes in like this just going to hold it in place and you'll see that the tire that the tire that tire end is going to be more or less parallel with the fuselage the other end is going to go in on the other side the exact same way this went in but this is what it looks like when it's completely installed there is a cover that does go over this um, it doesn't really seem to have any sort of way of holding itself in place so I will be putting a couple drops of glue in the four corners there not a whole bunch just enough to keep it in place there so that way it doesn't come flying off but if you do need to get access to it again say they come loose or something you don't damage the foam the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the horns onto the wings and you see this is one of the main wings right here I have it upside down so we got the servos exposed you see the servo and then you go directly to the south of it you're going to see four little holes this one's for the ailerons move over to the flap we got the same thing going on what you need to do is you take one of the horns here and make sure you have it so that the holes are actually facing towards the servo so that way it's going to look something like this when it's actually mounted on there that is how you need to mount these if you mount them the if you mount them backwards like this they will not work there's not enough rod linkage there to reach that so make sure that they are facing forwards that those holes are facing towards the servos quick note for everybody what I did is I just plugged in the, re the uh, speed controller and I'm measuring the voltage output to the receiver that this thing is creating um, those of you who are going to be using your own speed controller I just dropped it but make sure that you are running this thing at 5 volts for the BEC output don't go any higher LED lights are very sensitive to voltages so if you go any higher than the 5 volts there's a good chance you're gonna burn out these LED lights so make sure you set everything at 5 volts next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna point out too is that anything that has got three wires on it this does go to the receiver this one's pr the, one of these one of these two um, is gonna be for the tail the rudder and then the other one's gonna be for the elevator if you see anything that's got two wires on it two wires denotes LED lights and they're going to plug into this very large harness here so this plane didn't come with any sort of Y harnesses for the ailerons or the flaps so I just went out and bought some I don't know if you can see very well but they all kinda of go down inside here and they run out on this side right here so that's where you're gonna have everything what I did too is because we got so many is I put a little piece of tape on these F for flap and then uh, A for aileron and these other two are just gonna be for the LED lights so I didn't mark them so here's the tail wing um, this big group of wires right there is actually for the LED lights so what you're gonna need to do is take those wires out and then you're going to need to run them down inside the tube here best way of doing that would to be holding the wing in place and then actually getting this propped straight up and down and kind of wiggling it up and down to drop the wires in another option you could do if you got it um, small wire just put a little piece of tape around there and just push the wire through you could even try using some weights um, fishing weights or something just cr gently crimp them onto the wires to drop them down all the way to where the battery compartment is okay tail wing mounts up like this we're gonna put the tail wing on first we got uh, part numbers 82 
in the front we got one right here and then we got this one right here notice how they're stating to put them in and we got an 81 right here here's the bag that it comes in we got an 81 an 82 and an 83 just look at just look at the quantities it'll help things a little bit more simplified and as you can see we got two 82's and we got one 81 the 81 is a shorter one which will be going in the back take your tail wing mount it on there if you do choose you can put a little dab of glue on that spot underneath there where the wing sets if you don't want to not a big deal it's not required but I'm going to then take your screw drop it in there tighten it down take your rudder go ahead place it in there place it in there push it down then take the plane and flip it over so we can get to the bottom screws and take your longer one put it in the front take your shorter one put it in the back and then tighten those down also once it's mounted on this is what it's going to look like make sure we are you don't hook any of these up right now we'll do this last once we got everything powered up take your LED wires that we come that we run down for the tail and try to get those tucked underneath this. We don't want to. We want to put it underneath there. There are some holes, like you can see, I have up there for it. We don't want these wires hanging out in here. They get tangled up, caught, or something like that. It pulls on it, breaks a wire, or just simply stops the servo. There's a chance that you may crash the plane. Next thing we're doing is we're going on to the main wings here. We're going to, because we already got these guys assembled now, just had to screw those pieces in. We're going to take and put those in the servo horns right here. One on each one. So that way when you get everything installed, it's going to look something like this. Just don't hook them up yet. We'll get to that later. Next step is grabbing your carbon, your carbon fiber rods here. And we're going to be putting them in both holes. The nice thing is that they go in and then they stop. You can't move them in any further. So uh, I have seen other planes where they just they'll slide. You take this and you push it in, and they'll slide all the way in. So these ones do have a stop. They're about right there, roughly. So go ahead and put both of those in. Then what we're going to do is then take these and stuff them into those two tubes right there. Okay got those on we got the wings on the next step is to take this big mass of wires looks complicated but it's really not everything's marked so go ahead and plug everything in stuff uh, like I said I had mine I've got A for aileron F for flap and there should be the other ones here too like the stock there's one flap so there's only two wires there's four wires total two have got the three wires two have got the, the two wires so like I said, two wires are LED. Okay, I got one wing installed onto the fuselage there. Um, one nice thing about LED lights, you can see them at night. One bad thing is you got a lot of wires you got to deal with down inside the fuselage. I had to be very careful, grab the wires, and just gently kind of pull the extra slack inside the fuselage. Now we're going to go, and there's these two holes. There are screws there. They're number 83's and they're just little tiny guys. Go ahead and drop two in there and tighten them down. Don't over tighten them of course. Just get them snug. Okay, everything's plugged in. The plane has got power to it. The LEDs are just amazing. It's, just, it's quite amazing when you first plug her in and the whole thing lights up. Next step you gotta do, and this is why I said not to plug anything in, is we gotta take these horns and get them completely parallel with the plane. This one's sitting like this. We need to have it sitting completely straight like that. The same thing with the flaps. Everything on the other wing. Plus we also got the elevator which is sitting a little bit cockeyed too. So just take that little on all of them. There's a little Phillips screw in there. Unscrew that all the way out. Then lift up the horn and then straighten it out, put it back down, making sure to put the, your nut back in there. Once you're done doing that, and you got everything centered and all your trims are centered on your controls, go ahead and take these guys and then line up that little, that little rod right in the middle there. Line that up with the hole so that way everything is completely neutral. Your flaps are up. Make sure that your flaps are moving in the correct direction when you do it. You don't want it 
to be moving the wrong way and then you know when you engage it it's supposed to flaps are supposed to go down up is up you don't want it so that way it's pushing it you may need to do some reversing on the flap so check those before you plug these in to the control surface horns here make sure everything's moving in the correct direction and then go ahead and plug every go ahead and connect these to that one thing I like to do is I will be actually taking and putting some fuel line um, just at your hobby store grab some fuel line rubber bands small rubber bands and then just have it so it's wrapped around there so it's actually pinching that on so that way it doesn't accidentally pop off during flight it's just a little extra safety feature to be doing okay the last thing to point out here is that you see on your servo horn you got all these holes on the servos the further out it is the more the control surface is going to move on the control surface horn the further out it is the less the control surface is going to move so if you want to have this thing um, to start out as a kind of a trainer um, put everything on the outside of the servo and put it on the outside of the control surface horn do that on all of these things all of the control surfaces the ailerons the rudder and the elevator you start advancing down go ahead and start dropping this down lower and lower because then what it'll do instead of it moving just a little bit it'll move it a whole bunch so you get a lot a lot of response and a little bit of movement so um, there is room to adjust to advance as that too all right last step to do is the propeller we got the backing plate here if you look at it you can kind of see you got the the ribbed area there I'll tell you about that in a minute this does have some this does have a bit of a lock on there so just turn it and push it you will feel it go in now it's locked in the propeller goes on only one way you got this one side right here and you can kind of see if I can get it there's there's teeth right there you go the other side and it's completely flat these teeth need to go in like this so line up the teeth and then you have a washer and then you have a nut that goes on go ahead and tighten those down get that all tightened up and then you got your cone right here there are screws that go through here and they are going to line up in there make sure your prop is lined up right run those screws in and then your plane should be done I hope you enjoyed this I hope it helps you guys out especially for those who are of you who are new to flying Good luck and happy flying out there.